Welcome to my sweet little studio here in Thailand. We are going to do just a simple short and sweet flow today. So let's start in a child's pose. Big toes touching, knees a little wider than your hips. And just walk on forward, drop your forehead down, and then take your hands into a prayer. Walk your elbows a little further forward, bend your elbows, and take this prayer to the back of your head. And heavy your sitting bones back towards your heels. Start to cultivate a deeper breath. And start to lengthen your fingertips back towards the top of your mat, extending your arms far enough forward that your forearms and your elbows lift up and then walk your hands over to the left. Stretch your right fingertips a little bit further and drop down, breathe into your right half. Start to walk back through center. Keep your body nice and low. Walk over to the right. Left fingertip stretching a little bit past the right. Start to walk back through center. Glide yourself forward towards a tabletop. Knees come beneath your hips. Cow and cat, inhale. Drop your belly, open your heart. And exhale to round. Press the ground away. Drop your chin to your chest. Starting to move with the rhythm of your breath. Maybe keeping your eyes closed here. And then start to find these big rotations with your hips circling around your knees, coming all the way forward and all the way back. Inhaling as you circle forward. Exhaling as you press back. And then reverse direction, circle the other way. Next time you come forward, pause, curl your toes, open hard on an inhale, look forward, and then exhale up and back, downward facing dog. And find a little movement here, pedal through your feet. Start to find stillness. Inhale yourself forward to a plank. Align your shoulders over your wrists. Press the ground away. Gaze slightly forward. And then exhale up and back. Downward facing dog. And do that twice more. Inhaling forward to plank. Exhaling to your dog. Last one. Breath in. Shift forward. 
breath out to shift back. Hands walk to your feet, forward fold at the back of your mat. Uttanasana, halfway lift on an inhale. And fold back down. Rise to stand, circle your arms to the sky. Breathe in, and then on your breath out, take a prayer into your heart. Pause for a full round of breath. Interlace your hands, flip your palms to the sky, breathe in. And then arms go wide, catch the clasp of your hands at your low back as you dive forward and fold. Knuckles towards the sky, let go of your head. Release your fingertips down in front of your toes, halfway lift, breathe in. And fold back down. Walk your hands forward, downward facing dog. Rock forward to plank and lower to your belly. Knees can drop if you'd like. Fingertips wide, rolling cobra. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, forward and down. Child's pose, press back. And then shifting forward through a tabletop, toes tuck, downward facing dog. And we'll send our right leg to the sky. Bend your knee, roll open through your hip. You can find a little movement here with your right foot, maybe your right knee. I like to just bend and straighten my leg. And we'll re-extend our right leg, roll your hip towards the ground, squaring off your hips, take a breath in, and then carefully step your right foot forward between your hands. If you've got blocks, you can take your hands onto blocks. You don't have to use them, and you can also use anything else that might lift the ground. Tap your back knee down, roll open and up through your heart, inhale. Back toes are curled on your exhale, straighten both legs, flex your right toes, bow towards your right shin. And then again, inhale, lunge forward, back knee taps, heart lifts, and exhale, shift back and folds. And again, breathing in, find your lunge, hips heavy, heart light. And exhale, up and back, pyramid pose, flex your right toes. And this time as you lunge forward, you'll keep your back knee and heel lifted, rise up high, crescent lunge. Take a prayer into your heart. Hands interlace, flip them to the sky, breathe in. And then dip up and over to your right on a breath out. Back up through center and open to warrior two. Turn your left toes out, heel toe your right foot center. And both palms face the sky. As you inhale, straighten your right leg, prayer above you. And as you exhale, warrior two. Do that twice more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out, pause in your warrior two and then tip back to reverse. And windmill your hands down to frame your foot. Back toes pivot forward and we just step forward. Left foot to right, blocks to the side if you were using them, halfway lift. And fold back down, rise to stand, reach to the sky. Hands into your heart. Pause for a breath. Interlace your hands, flip them to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, arms wide, clasp of your hands to your low backs and knuckles to the sky and fold. Release your fingertips down, halfway lift, breath in. Fold down and plant your hands. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Plank pose. Pause. And then always your choice if you want to drop your knees. We'll lower down to our belly. Hands stay as they are. Draw your elbows together. Shoulders lift. Heart lifts. Cobra. Inhale. And back down. Through a child's pose or a tabletop, make your way to downward facing dog. And take a moment to pause and check in with yourself, reconnect to your breath. And 
And send your left leg to the sky. Bend your knee, turn your hip open. Right, movement or any sort of exploration here, circles. And send your left leg straight back to your three-legged dog and step your left foot forward between your hands. Back knee drops down, toes stay curled, inhale and look forward. Exhale to shift back and fold, left leg straight, left toes point up. Moving with breath, ripple forward, lunge on an inhale. Exhale up and back, fold down. Last one, breathing in, shift forward. Breathing out, rise up. Forward to your crescent lunge, so left knee bends, arms rise, and prayer comes into your heart, interlace to the sky, take an inhale here, and then up and over to your left, you bend, and you go from right here all the way open to warrior two, back toes turn out, arms go wide, straighten your left leg, touch your prayer above you, inhale. Back to your warrior two, exhale. Again, inhale, arms and legs straight. Exhale, vira two. Last one, inhale. Exhale to your vira two, pause. Reverse your warrior, sweep up and back. Cartwheel your hands down, back toes face forward, step forward, right foot to left foot. I almost slipped there. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold back down. Rise to stand, breathe in. Hands to your heart. Full round of breath. Interlace to the sky, breathe in. Wide arms, fold forward, knuckles to the sky. Hands release forward, halfway lift. Plant your hands, left foot steps back, right foot meets it in plank. And again, option to drop your knees, lower to your belly, otherwise lowering halfway, catch yourself, Chaturanga Dandasana, Cobra, or an upward facing dog this time. Breathe in. Exhale your way to downward facing dog. You can move through tables or childs to get there. Deep breaths in and out. And send your right leg to the sky. Again, bend your knee, open your hip. And then from here, step all the way forward, right foot between your hands. Back knee taps down, blocks are there if you want them. One inhale in your lunge. Exhale, both legs straight. To your high lunge now, back knee lifted, arms rise. Prayer into your heart center. Interlace to the sky and side bend to your right. Moving with the flow of your breath up and open, warrior two. Arms straight, right leg straight, touch a prayer above you. Exhale forward, Vira two, pause, reverse. Sweep back, keep the bend in your right knee. Good. To side angle pose, right forearm, right thigh, left arm overhead. Take a breath in and a breath out. Now rise all the way up. Arms and legs straight, parallel your right toes with the left. Left toes turn out slightly. Prayer comes all the way down as you lunge down towards your left heel, Skandasana, side lunge. Heart lifts to your thumbs, pause and breathe. Pressing off of this left leg, hands come down. Wide-legged forward fold, toes parallel, legs straight. Come up onto your fingertips, lift halfway. 
and fold back down. Start to walk back towards your right foot. Pivot all 10 toes to face forward. Tap your back knee down, low lunge, rise up, Anjaneyasana. Take a prayer into your heart and twist to your right, left elbow outside of your right knee. Press your prayer together and open your heart towards your thumbs. And you can stay here, you can tuck your back toes, press through your back heel and lift your knee. Depending on what you want here, this is gonna be more strengthening for your legs. I find that back knee down actually helps me access a deeper twist in my upper spine. Two more breaths. And then unwind, interlace your hands, flip them to the sky, breathe in. You're either in your low lunge or you're up here in a high lunge. And side bend right. And then rise back up and sweep your hands down and step your left foot forward. Halfway lift and folds. All the way to stand, inhale, hands to heart, exhale. And final time through, interlace your hands, flip them to the sky, breath in. And fold forward, clasp of your hands up and overhead. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, hands release down and fold, step back. Plank pose, moving through your variation of a vinyasa, halfway or all the way down. Low cobra or an upward facing dog. And then we meet back in downward facing dog whenever you are ready. And find your breath. Send your left leg to the sky. Bend your knee, open your hip. And step your left foot all the way forward. Back knee drops. Blocks are there if you want them. One breath here in your lunge. Exhale, hips peel up and back. Bow towards your left shin. Right to your high lunge, arms to the sky. You're on the ball of your back foot. Prayer to your heart. Interlace to the sky and side bend to your left. Up and open, warrior two. One time through, straighten your left leg, prayer above you, inhale. Lunge forward, exhale. Reverse your warrior, sweep up and back. And take it to side angle pose, left forearm to left thigh, right arm extends overhead. We breathe here. Left leg straightens, arms above you in a prayer. And then your right toes turn out just slightly. Prayer through your body as you bend into your right knee, lower down. Skandasana, side lunge. Breathe here. Wide-legged forward fold, Prasarita Padottanasana. Legs straight, feet parallel. On fingertips, halfway lift, flat back. And fold back down. Walk back towards the top of your mat. All ten toes face forward. Back knee drops down. Anjane Asana, low lunge, arms rise. Prayer into your heart, this time revolve to your left. Right elbow outside of left knee. Prayer presses together. And then your choice, staying here for more of a twist or pressing through your back heel for a little bit more strengthening in your legs. Keeping your hands in a prayer, turning back towards center, interlace your hands, flip them to the sky, breath in. Dip up and over to your left. And then come back up, arms go wide. We step forward, right foot to left. Lift halfway and fold down. 
And this time, rise up to stand. Inhale as you reach tall. And then let your exhale take you right back down. Hinge and fold. Lift up halfway, flat spine. And fold down, step back. Last time, through an optional vinyasa. You can always skip it if you don't want it or need it. From downward facing dog, then dropping our knees. And coming back to child's pose where we began. Center yourself with your breath. Let your heart rate slow down. And start to walk your hands in just enough to lift your chest up. You'll come forward, cross your ankles, have a seat behind your feet. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees open wide. And walk yourself a little closer towards your heels. The closer your heels are, the deeper it's going to be. The further away, the softer it is. And so find a flat back, sit up tall. And then hinge forward, let your heart lead like you were spilling your heart onto your legs. And then you can walk your hands forward, curl your head in. Maybe you rest your head on a block. And let your shoulders round forward slightly, hollow out your belly. Just notice and feel. Where does your body feel tight or sticky? And where does it feel open and spacious? We just had a big rain here a few minutes ago so all of the songbirds are out it's so beautiful I don't know if you can hear it in the background but it's so nice and final couple of breaths here Slowly start to come up, bring your knees together, and come down onto your back, taking your feet wide and knocking your knees together. And take your arms into a cactus shape, palms open. Keep your feet nice and wide and drop your knees over to the left. Spinal twist. And bring your knees slowly up and over to the right. Coming back through center, 
And just straighten your legs forward. Bring your arms down long alongside your body, a little bit wide, palms turn open. And setting yourself up in a way that allows for the optimal flow of energy through your body. Releasing any sense of control or effort over your breath. Giving yourself the gift of stillness. Simply being exactly as you are. Shavasana. Taking a deep breath in. And drawing your awareness back. Inviting in movement when you're ready. And eventually rolling to one side. Pausing there for a moment, honor the transition. And gently press yourself up to a seat. Closing your eyes if they've popped open. Maintaining this connection that you've cultivated with yourself. Inviting your breath to move a little bit deeper in and out. Awareness to your heart. Noticing the effects of a very short and simple practice. How powerful it is to carve out time to connect with yourself, to move your body, be with your breath. And take your hands into a prayer at your heart. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. From my heart to yours. Namaste.